So, had a bit of a problem connecting the ESC and the programmer to the laptop and I was doing everything right, I was sure I was doing everything right and then when I open up the Spectrum USB link, <coughs> it, this thing here just said connecting to PC wouldn't do anything. So, now I'm on the desktop PC, looks to be working pretty good. So. What we do, battery, <clears throat> this is just a USB-A to USB-C cable, just anyone, and then we just got our servo plug here or programming cable, just on the back of uh, programming, positive, negative, and then same for here. So we've got that. Well, oh, that's, that's on, and then we just plug this one in. And now, we can come over here, click connect, and she connects. Cool, this is just a 100 amp one, and all the settings come up. So, all good. There everything is. And there's your updates. So you can do everything. Obviously I'm updated. Um, <clears throat> if you want to know what everything means, I'll put a little PDF link in the description. So, this version of Windows is fine, it's never been upgraded or migrated or anything like that, so never any problems with the USB. What I found out was, because my laptop had gone from 10 to 11, because I only use it as a TV server for Plex, and like Linux and stuff, but I don't really care about it. But anyways, you find, you find out which device it is, this is a hidden one, this is just an example. You go on here, this is device manager, and then events. And then here, it had a few lines saying, could not migrate data, you know, USB connected or whatever. There was a whole bunch of stuff here and that was why. Just wasn't picking it up, it was picking it up, <clears throat> but it wasn't working. In here, it said, you know, working fine, device okay, whatever but in here could not migrate settings so if it's not working for you that will be why i had a bit of a play tried to use programs you know usb obsolete get rid of the usbs and stuff and you know the history and that but it wasn't really working <clears throat> and for quite a while i wanted to go back to 10 so i just looked it and went back to windows 10. so yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Alright, there it is.